Well, hey everybody. Um, I'm out today by my grinder. I'm gonna talk a little bit about some problems we had with the feed we were feeding and how we went around and remedied our problem. Um, we had problems with some acidosis and bloating. Um, and we determined that was more than likely the fine content in our feed we were feeding our calves. Um, these are fat cattle, by the way. And here's, I got three different grinds of feed. Now I'm gonna show you guys. And I'll tell you what was the concoction to do do them all and what I've tried and what didn't work at all and, and kind of just go over that. So I'm sure there's another low budget operation that wants to get by using one of them things and not go buy a roller mill. So here's what I got. With this is our original grind in the can. Um, you can see there's quite a bit of fine particles in there. Um, a few whole kernels but a lot of fines. So then I went and I tried to put our smaller screen, a smaller screen, and now this is with no screen in the grinder running at RPM speed. I did try running it slower um, without a screen in, but that did not work. I had just so many whole kernels it wasn't even funny and I might as well not waste my time. So then I tried this, which is our smaller screen in. As you can tell, there's no no whole kernels and uh, and you know really not terrible but there's still more fines than what I'm hoping for and that was with the smaller screen in which I'll show each screen when I'm done here and uh, go from there but that was with the smaller screen in running about half throttle um, or so and this is the grind that we're gonna stick with I believe um, this is with the large screen in running about half throttle. As you can see, there, there are a few whole kernels, but I'm not sure if there's any more whole kernels than, than, than the last one. But as you can see, we drastically reduced the amount of fines in our feed. Um, and that should help produce, uh, prevent acidosis and bloating from that cause. I did talk to the vet and I worked with my nutritionist and this is what we came up with. Um, I'm gonna flip this around again. So is what we done, I talked to the nutritionist and I talked to our local vet and we came up with, <coughs> excuse me, we came up with a solution to use up the corn we had, which was to feed a whole corn with it. So we fed whole corn here, blended with, uh, with our ground up corn. And we fed that for like a week or so and now we're going back to, now we're gonna go back to grinding it but we're going to process it with the grinder going a little slower and uh, and try not to over process it. That was what was happening, that's what we came up with and and that's the only that's the only problem that makes sense to us. So that's what we're trying. It hasn't been a huge problem. Um, we've lost a couple, you know, and out of the head we've got, you know, two really isn't that bad. Or three, I guess, is what we end up losing. Um, and you know, just in the past few years, we've had just random calves bloat, and we're kind of wondering if that's if we're riding the line. I think is what's happening. We're riding the line between um, between you know being ground too fine and it being okay. And with I'm what I think is happening, our weather's been fluctuating so bad here lately. You know, we had a blizzard. We we're down to cold, and then it got nice, and then we had another snow. And just with all the temperature fluctuations, I think that's changing their intakes a little bit and just messing them up. And I think the temperature is what's threw them over the line of our uh, fines in the feed and causing the problems. And now hopefully we're backing away from that line with the ground feed, not having so many fines that we don't have the problem with the temperature swings like we've had. Uh, everything comes with a temperature swing but I think if we can eliminate or reduce the risk of that, that's what we've decided to do. And uh, I guess I'm, hopefully this video will help somebody else figure it out. And I'm gonna flip around and, and show you guys the different screens and uh, we'll go from there. All right guys, well, here's a small screen. As you can see, you know, a kernel of corn will barely fit through there. But what I found, it just uh, processes it too much my liking for how much cord we're feeding these fat cattle. There's too much fines in the total feed. So this is a screen I'm using, or a similar one. I've actually got two of these, so the other one's actually in the machine. Um, as you can see, it's about the size of my finger. 
Well, probably closer to the size of my thumb, but that's what we've gone to. You know, it's a little counterproductive, is what I was told it was counterproductive to run a screen. If without a screen, I, if without a screen, I was over processing it already. But what I found, I get a more consistent grind running it a little slower with the screen in than I actually do with the screen out. So I guess hopefully this helps, like I said, help somebody else out with their problem. If it is a problem for them or someone who's thinking about using a grinder mixer um, to grind corn for cattle, um, this is what I found out and hopefully it's helpful for somebody. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe and we'll uh, put up some couple of short clips of of uh, grinding here on the end. All right, well here's gonna be the end of the video. I just thought I'd show you this is what we done. We had really fine powder corn. And uh, this is what we have left, just a little bit here. And you can see there's just a, whole a lot of whole kernels. Anyhow, then we walk over to this stuff I just put here, I just dumped <clears throat> out of the feed wagon. And uh, it's a lot better, a lot, lot bigger kernels in there. A lot bigger chunks there are still some fines but it's still way better way better than what we've got going on there side by side there